about your little uh, saw horse there. Alright. I didn't make that saw horse. My Lord and Savior God made that. He put them two trees just right. So I could just put me a piece of rope in between there. And you can take your thing. You've got your little saw horse ready made. Amen. Alright, and we'll be back as we do a little more. Thank you. Okay, I got my head chopped off there. That's all right. Mm -hmm. so I talked to the camera. Uh, we used to have me a little lunch here. Uh, Dave's going be out here going. I'm going to use my... Hold on, I'm going to raise that up a little bit. You want me to do it? Sit yeah, down. Would you? Tell me what to do. Just uh, turn that big long knob. Turn it to where you untighten it. BRS 2000. BRS 2000. So I'm going to be uh, using my stick stove. And there's all kind of plantain growing around here. So I went and picked a few of the uh, smaller tender leaves. And I'm going to put some in with my. Uh, that I'm about to have. What I've done here is I've got some, uh, I feathered up a piece of uh, fat wood and then I scraped it and I got that in there and I'm going to hopefully light it with my ferro rod and then I've splintered up a couple pieces and as you can see we've got wood laying everywhere so I can always keep her going. <clears throat> we got the water out of the uh, creek down there. I think that's the All Mercy Creek. I'm going to be using my knife that uh, my brother Mark Hudson gave me. It's a condor. The bush lure, I think, is what he said it was. And uh, we're going to go to cooking here and be eating, I hope, soon. I might better take that off of before I... Let's do it this way. 
get the shavings in there. Let's just pull this out here where I can get to it. Most trouble I've ever had using a fire rod. What's that, boss? May not have enough shavings there. It's damp too. This humidity's pushing a hundred percent. Sweat gets in my eyes. We'll see how that goes. I don't know, guys. Just making you work for it, buddy. I have to go the old fashioned way.
Is that fat lighter? Yeah. It sure ain't acting like it does. Sometimes you get the bear. Sometimes, Sometimes the bear, the bear gets, gets you. Gets you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that ain't going to work, then we'll just go to Get a little something else out a little drier. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna get a fire going. There you go. That. I think it's dry. Try to keep it dry. And there we go. You good? We got fire, y'all. Okay, long. You know, I meant to get uh, some of that bark over there we seen when we come in, too. Yeah, that's what the, uh, that is. Oh, is that what it's sitting on? Oh, yeah. yeah, you got some right there. Yeah. That bark will catch. Yeah, some of this fat wood's catching in there. Damn. Yeah, I've got to tell y'all, we are working in uh, damp conditions. stuff you got there. What are those shavings, Jim? That is a uh just some uh, baskets, raw. Oh, okay. See if, uh, see if this catches for us. I haven't used that before. I had some of it, and I was just curious. I was going to try it this weekend. 
When I catch quick. Now, it's a little wet, maybe it'll dry out better. I didn't think I was going to get me a fire going there for a little bit. There's some of that right there dry. It's burning, but it ain't caught yet. But that's fine too. No fire in there. It'll, it'll catch. While you're playing, I'm going to go ahead and eat. <laughs> <laughs> mm. By the magic of uh, modern chemistry. Dave said he wasn't going to play around. No, I'm hungry. Get my Daniel Boone on a little later. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I gotta get a lid on this. Yeah. It's been so long since I even. Is your lid? Where's your lid at? I'll grab it it's, for you. It's up, there, but I gotta look for a spoon. To, I got a spoon up there somewhere. I don't know where I put my finger. Oh. Are you having about the same thing I'm having, ain't you? Yeah. I uh, have a little ramen. I, I did a little bit more water than normal. Um, well, I had to throw me a little salt in there. <laughs> but I wanted to try out that big pot. And I hadn't used it yet. Said Indian style here while we wait on this to cook. I like Dave was saying a while ago, it's uh, everything out here is damp, wet. Uh, it rained, I guess, all day yesterday. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to get any today, but we might tonight. But it is humid and hot. And there might be something I could think of I'd rather be doing, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I hear that. Hey, when, when y'all get a chance, I want y'all to see this uh, pot here that, oh, yeah, I'll see that, that. Uh, Dave's got. I can't and he even cooked in this side. And he I gave me it. a smaller version of it. That's from a company called Bare Minimum. 
and they make these pots, we'll show you a little bit later, they fold up flat. And they're made out of like a, some kind of fireproof, almost like Kevlar material. I'm not sure what it is. And it's got a metal bottom. And uh, I tell you what, they're light, and they sure do pack up nice. This is the bigger one. I liked it because I can actually use it for a dog bowl, too, when my dog wants water when we're hiking. And uh, they make several different sizes. Anyway, check them out. He brought that, he, hey, he brought that when uh, we was uh, doing our haversack hike up on, uh, what's the name of that fall? Keon Falls. Keon Falls. And uh, I brought a Stanley, and that Stanley was heavy compared to that. That's one folded up. So if you remember, bare minimum. So if you're uh, you like to hike with a haversack and want to lighten your load, there you go. That'll get her done for you. It's gonna be good with those. You know what? What's that? I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I didn't realize I was hungry till I got into this. <laughs> well, you seen me eat that granola bar a while ago? Yeah. That was my breakfast. But I took that medicine, and then I said, you know what? Better take something to eat. I had about four cups of coffee, and that was it. I was starting to get a little jittery, a little shaky. Now being this is creek water, I will let it come to a boil. I don't want Dave to have to try to drag this big old fat boy out of here. Hmm. Wait a minute, Dave said he'd just leave me I'll laying. Do, no, I'll do you like an elk. I'll quarter you. <laughs> Yeah, one piece at a time. That must have been the kids we heard earlier, riding them horses. Yeah, probably was. <clears throat> I have never had so much trouble. just the other day at home. And it was, I don't know what day it was, it was drizzling off and on about every other hour.
Well, that almost makes a good slingshot there. <laughs> Uh, we got a fire going good now. So. I'm gonna turn y'all off, and uh, after this cook, I'm gonna. Oh, that's gonna get hot. I'm gonna. Uh, I'll turn you back on. I'll show you the camp, and uh, we'll try to talk to you a little more. Cause you ain't gonna wanna sit here and watch me watch this fire. I'm going to turn you out. Also, I want to say this is going to be uh, part one because we're going to be here for today, tomorrow, and some of Sunday. Okay, I don't know what time it is now. <coughs> uh, when you're out here, you don't really care. Uh, we've already ate our lunch, I know that. And David, he just loves the saw, Dave. He loves it. <laughs> he don't wear that saw out, he's gonna have to make him a new one when he gets home. Keeps me off the street. <laughs> uh, we got, that might last us tonight. I guarantee you, if we light it, we're not going to be sitting next to it. Uh, this is Dave's little tent. I guess that's what a one man. Uh, they call that a two man. That's a Kelsey Salita two. It only weighs three pounds. It's uh, really easy to set up. Very simple. I like it because I use it by myself and I got room to put all my gear inside and sort it out and especially if it's raining or whatever. Yeah. You got a cover for it too or? What's that? 
Is there a cover that goes over it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's laying inside. It's got a oh. rain fly. I'm hoping I can do without it tonight. But that's a nice little tent. It's a Kelty. <clears throat> and then you come over here. I'll take you over here to my slum. I got the old Eno hammock still going. Uh, last time I posted, I think I was in a tent. But uh, we checked this out and everything. There ain't no widow makers or anything around either one of us. But uh, that's my hotel room for tonight. Of course, I got it up. Porch mode both sides, you might as well say, because like I said, it's hot out here. And uh, you can see how thick the woods is. And uh, I mean, this is what, about the middle of June, I guess. Uh, snakes are supposed to be bad. I ain't seen one yet. I hope I don't. But, uh, We was actually planning on hiking out a little bit, but uh, this spot was here and available, so we grabbed it. So, but we didn't bring our chairs. So Dave had that piece of wood there in the back of his truck, so that's a seat. And I had brought that little blue mat, <laughs> and that's what I been planning on setting on. I don't know if y'all can see it real good because of the sun. Let me walk around here a little bit. Look at the plantain. I mean, that stuff is just everywhere in here. Some of it's come up to seed. I don't know if you can... Well, where's it at? But it's uh, come up to seed. Now we could have got this spot over here, but I don't know. I just I've camped over in there before. There really ain't a whole lot of, and please forgive me for the bouncing and stuff. There's not a whole lot of uh, places to really set a tent. More people, the uh, people that like to ride horses and stuff like that, they like to pull in here and they pin their horses up everywhere. So of course it's got horse manure everywhere, so nobody really wants to step in it. Of course right there's the creek where you cross it. I'll take you down over here though and shine you up the creek and let you see what it looks like. And as everywhere you go, you got some that leave their garbage. I don't know if people are just, they don't care. And I believe this is the, uh, I might be wrong, but I think this is all murky. Creek. I know if you go on further up in some spots it's uh, deep. Right here, not so much. I mean, I can almost, whoop, I can almost walk out in it. I mean, I mean, I'm getting wet here, but 
just my shoes. You can see up in there, I'll be quiet a minute and maybe you can hear it. It's pretty up in there, they're shaded. Back down that way. Now there's a trailhead back over there that you can hike up. <clears throat> there's a lot of trails through here to where if you wanted to, I guess you could probably uh, hike for days. And uh, there's so many trails on and off here and there that uh, you could hike a big old circle and hike two or three circles and never see the same place twice. I would like to do a group camp out out here somewhere, but as you can see, it's so thick everywhere that uh, all the places to camp you'd have to park. But uh, I love it out here. My boots are squawking. Got them wet. <laughs> but right now, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to trudge through all that right there. That's just a mess. But uh, anyway, I promised you know that I'd show you around camp and all, and that's about the extent of it. So, I'll sign off here until a little while later. Maybe something will come up and, uh, that I can share. So, uh, y'all just hang tight.